In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me for Mass today. Not a bright day here on the island, you can tell behind me. Anyway, I suppose it's supposed to be better forecast for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I was asked yesterday by a parishioner in Peel to celebrate Mass for Sister Emmanuel. This is for her. Please continue to keep Siobhan Carroll in your praise and also pray for the repose of Carlos in Uria. Today we keep the feast of St Jerome. Jerome was born in Striden in Dalmatia in today's Bosnia around the year 340. Initially he studied in Rome before being baptised. He led an austere life and moved to the east where he was an ordained priest. He later went back to Rome where he was appointed secretary to Pope Damasus. It was there he began the translation of the Bible into Latin and promoted the monastic way of life within the church. He finally settled in Bethlehem where he continued his work, writing many books, particularly commentaries on the scriptures. He died in Bethlehem in the year 420. So as we begin our celebration in honour of St Jerome, we pause to call to mind our sins. And in the gospel, the, sorry, the first reading today, we hear the famous words from St Jerome, the Lord has given, the Lord has taken back. Some of the time we're okay with it when the Lord gives us stuff, but maybe not so when he takes things back from us. So for those times, we spend a moment to think about them, confess them to the Lord and ask his mercy and forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Job. One day the sons of man, God, came to attend on the Lord, and among them was Satan. So the Lord said to Satan, Where have you been? Round the earth, he answered, roaming about. So the Lord asked him, Did you notice my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a sound and honest man, who fears God and shuns evil. Yes, Satan said, but Job is not God-fearing for nothing, is he? Have you not put a wall round him and his house and all his domain? You have blessed all he undertakes and his flocks throng the, the countryside. But stretch out your hand and lay a finger on his possessions. I warrant you, he will curse you to your face. Very well, the Lord said to Satan, all he has is in your power, but keep your hands off his person. So Satan left the presence of the Lord. On the day when Job's sons and daughters were at their meal and drinking wine at the elder brother's house, a messenger came to Job. Your oxen, he said, were at the plough with the donkeys grazing at their side. And when the Sabaeans swept down on them and carried them off, your servants they put to the sword. I alone escaped to tell you. He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. The fire of God, he said, has fallen from the heavens and burnt up all your sheep and your shepherds too. I alone escaped to tell you. He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. The Chaldeans, he said, three bands of them have raided your camels and made off with them. Your servants they put to the sword. I alone escaped to tell you. 
He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. Your sons and daughters, he said, were at their meal and drinking wine at the elder brother's house, when suddenly from the wilderness a gale sprang up and it battered all four corners of the house, which fell in on the young people. They are dead. I alone escaped to tell you. Job rose and tore his gown and shaved his head. Then falling to the ground, he worshipped and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I shall return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this misfortune, Job committed no sin, nor offered any insult to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The response to the psalm is, Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. Turn, Turn your, your ear, ear to me, O Lord, Lord hear, hear my words. words. Lord, hear a cause that is just, pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer, no deceit is on my lips. Turn, Turn your, your ear, ear to me, me O Lord, Lord, hear my words. From you may my judgment come forth. Your eyes discern the truth. You search my heart. You visit me by night. You test me and you find in me no wrong. Turn, Turn your, your ear, ear to me, me O Lord. Lord. Hear, hear my, my words. words. I am here and I call. You will hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Display your great love to those whose right hand saves. Your friends from those who rebel against them. Turn, Turn your, your ear to me, O Lord, Lord hear, hear my, my words. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument started between the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus knew what thoughts were going through their minds, and he took a little child and set him by his side, and then said to them, Anyone who welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among you all, that is the one who is great. John spoke up. Master, he said, we saw a man casting out devils in your name, and because he is not with us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said to him, you must not stop him. Anyone who is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent all people in their relations with God. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You forgave the sins of your people when your <coughs> holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the presence of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts.
Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and grant these our prayers that we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Jerome and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am am not worthy that that you should enter enter under my roof, but only say the word and and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass today. Take care. Bye, God bless and see you soon.